Hey, I bet you didn't expect this, did you? Welcome to MKX, everyone. MKXL, technically. Uh, I wonder how many times I'm gonna fuck up the name of this game throughout this video and call it MK11. Yes, we have officially reached a stage in my boredom of being locked in that I'm now playing MKX again. But actually, you know, I'm kind of half-joking. Uh, I've been looking to get back into a bit of MKX just to, you know, re-experience the magic of this game because this game is truly, I think, my favorite fighting game. Uh, there is just something about this game that NRS has never, I feel like, managed to exactly recapture. And I don't know why, and I feel like I'm not the only one who feels this way. There is something very, very special about this game, and uh, I like it. Oh, shit. Also, I haven't played in ages. I did actually warm up a little bit uh, yesterday. Just, cause, just to avoid making an ass of myself. But it's very possible that I will make an ass of myself. Okay. Cool. So yeah. Uh, oh, that does not... Why did I think that destroys projectiles? Oh shit. I'm gonna get chipped, aren't I? Okay, there's no meter. I know how these katanas be playing. Yeah, ah, shit. Did I get chipped out or did I just not block in time? Whatever. Uh, let's talk a little bit about MKX as I'm getting my ass kicked by this katana. This game is about five years old at this point. Uh, and the gameplay, I genuinely think, is as fresh slash entertaining as ever. You know, many, many people criticize this game for being overly quick and, you know, kind of crazy in terms of, uh, you know, just characters. Why am I dropping that? In terms of just characters having just absolutely crazy uh, mix-ups, combos, armor, and you know, all that shit. And you know, this is... Damn, she beat... Oh. She builds a lot of meter. Okay, okay, we get it, we get it. And the brutality. Well, that was to be kind of expected. Um, shit, I should have picked Sector. Whatever. So yeah, a five-year-old game, and which a lot of people, you know, rightfully shit on the gameplay of this game because uh, it is kind of crazy and it can be kind of random at times. Not so much at this stage because the game has been patched a ton, but undeniably, this game was and is something special. I think it's like a really weird thing that every fighting game developer nowadays is going for slow like every single fighting game coming out i hear yes it's slowed down it's tactical it's all about the neutral it's all about the neutral this it's all about the neutral that and you know i think why not have a crazy game like this click games uh have wide appeal i mean just look at any of the team fighters like dragon ball fighters Marvel vs. Capcom, those fighting games like live off of chaotic energy basically. Same with Tekken to a certain extent, you know, St Tekken is very explosive. You know, I would say Tekken is probably the only fighting game that can be like tactical and really fast paced, but Tekken is more like really explosive. So, you know, my theory is bring back the crazy fighting games. Bring back the fucking running mechanics, the 50-50s, the armor. I'm down because, personally, this game is so much more interesting than MK11. You know, I've recently started 
uh, replaying, oh shit, MK11, and I'm picking the game back up. Okay, this is very laggy. Shit, I forgot. Oh damn, can you like not convert off of that? Get in the corner. Yeah. People love to down too. Uh, yeah, that's not a good trade. Come on, jump. That does not punish. And this should be dead. Yes. What was I saying? I completely lost my train of thought. So yeah, again, I say that this game is way more interesting and creative, I would say, as well, than shit. I'm dropping my combos. Okay, he's not gonna block low. There we go. Okay. Didn't spend a meter. Is he just gonna let me chip him? I think he is. Uh, bruh. You know that chip damage is a thing, right? Like, you know your HP is going down. Does he know his HP? I think he just realized his HP is going down. How do you... Oh, fuck, how do you do that brutality? The one where he... Whatever. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? He's he he's legit gonna... Okay. I was like, he's legit gonna beat me. Um... One of the things, getting, finally finishing my point, one of the things that I think this game has over MK11 is creativity. You know, I feel like, and this, I, it's not like me shitting on MK11 specifically, because I had the exact same problem with Injustice 2 as well, in that basically every character has one combo path. So, like, you going about your combo, you know, whether you do an overhead starter or a low starter or a mid, you do that, and the rest of the combo plays out exactly the same for any situation. And that's specifically one of the things I feel like this game doesn't have. Why is this letting me... I don't like it when it lets me deny a match, because that usually usually entails lag. Whatever. It's like, who cares? Who cares about anything like that? Uh, this is a five-year-old game. Um, so yeah, in terms of combo creativity, combo paths, and just having options for characters, this game is way more in-depth than MK11. I'm gonna probably make a separate video on the topic when I'm not playing this game, or any game where I can like, actually form uh, coherent thought. Yeah, let's just wake up with that. You know what? I'm gonna wake up with that then. Oh shit. Why do I keep dropping my combos? Oh, okay. I was gonna say this guy is a teleporter, isn't he? Shit. I forgot. Down toing is way more difficult in this game. Okay, hold on. Come on! Shit! The fucking gravity. <laughs> okay, he messed up. He messed up there. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna make a probably a separate video where I can form coherent thoughts, but... Come on, teleport. But... I want to make a video about why the variation system works in this game and why it feels like way more limiting teleport. Okay, he got me with that. Why it feels like pretty limiting in uh, MK11. I have a little theory of why that's the case. Yeah. Whoa! That has a brutality on it? I didn't even know that. I did not know that. I wonder what the requirement is. Is it just like finish him with the missile? 
Anyways, GG's. So yeah, I wanted to make that kind of more coherent video on the variation system, even though I touched on it in previous videos for a long time now. And I think, you know, I've been playing this game, well, second day technically. I played a bit yesterday, I'm playing today for this video. Uh, kind of really highlighted and reinforced why I think the variation system is good in this game. Good, I put in air quotes because it has its issues and kind of shitty in 11. Uh, but that's for another time. Now we are just going to destroy fools with Sector. I mean, Sector is really strong. Sector, I think, is undeniably a good character. I don't know why I'm playing Sector out of all the characters. Like, I have my standards, you know, like Shinnok, Johnny Cage, Tremor. Like, the characters I actually know how to play. For some reason, I'm feeling Sector. Again, like, to who gives a shit? Like, this is what's nice about going back to an old fighting game. And, you know, this game for a five-year-old game is hella active. Uh... And this, you can just, like, not give a fuck. I mean, the ranked system is busted in this game anyway. Like, what the hell does the ranked system even mean in this game? Nobody knows. Uh, you, like, you, like, rank up, but nothing actually seems to happen. Shit, I dropped the end. I think this guy doesn't know how to block, maybe. I think, I think so. Of course, the thing is, I'm playing on my secondary... Well, not secondary. Secondary account for this game. Because it's my main account. Because I switched accounts from... God, this is not making any sense. From a US PSN account to a European one. And because of that... Because of that... Uh, I basically have... Like, no rank and shit. Which means... Why did I keep dropping that? That has a brutality on it. Fuck. I'm not gonna kill him. I just wanna see... Uh, he doesn't have a flame... Does he not have a flamethrower brutality? Doesn't matter. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know if there's actually, like... Just a shit ton of noobs in this game. Or it's just matching me against them uh, for some reason. It could be that it's just, you know, matching me against them. The other thing it could be is that a ton of people pick this game up on, like, sales. Because this game is hella cheap. And I think if you don't have this game, like, you should definitely get it. Because it's an experience. It is for sure an experience. And as you can see, like, you know, one of the bigger concerns new, pe with new people have with... I'm not going to torture this guy with zero, zero <laughs> wins... Uh, one of the concerns people have with picking up an older fighting game is that, like, oh, everybody's gonna be, like, way more experienced and I'm gonna get destroyed. Clearly, that's not the case, because I'm just, like, tearing through these fools, uh, except for the first katana. But, yeah, as you can see, plenty of people of all skills, so you can, like, adjust. Because, man, this game, this game is fucking insane I, and I love it I love it for it um, it's special it's special and again I know nostalgia glasses uh, this game has its issues I can point out like 20 right now if I had to but when you get down to it this game was hella fun to watch and even now it's hella fun to play so I would say that classifies it as a classic. Plus it has Sector in it. I hope they add Sector. Okay. And it's just interesting. Can I not drop that for once? I don't know what. It's not safe. Okay. I, I I still messed up the combo. Whatever, it worked. Round two. 
Oh yeah, I remember what I was gonna say. I was gonna say that this game is so interesting, like comparing it to comparing it to Eleven, you know how differently it plays, you know. There we go. You know, Eleven is all about the pokes. It is a poke fest. I would say what this game is about is... God damn. This game is way more about... Okay, let me just not lose to this guy. Let, let, me, let me just like try not to lose to this guy. Uh, this game is way more about staggers. Come on, teleport. Okay. Yeah, if you have like a good like, staggerable string in this game, you are like the king. One of the things that is definitely obvious as well is how much more difficult it is to punish things. Oh, yeah, just quit. I mean, it doesn't even matter. Like, you still... First of all, again, going back to my original point, this is a five-year-old game. Who cares about your win-loss? Second thing, it doesn't matter because it still adds a loss to your... <laughs> okay, just whatever. Good for him. Yeah, just rage quit on a five-year-old game. Uh, oh, he, dis he disconnected. He, like, legit quit. It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, punishing things in this game is way more difficult. Like, the thing is, the online of this game is okay. They switched to, like, better netcode throughout the half-life of this game. Like, when XL came out, they switched to a better netcode. And even still, 11 is far superior in that regard. I won't even deny it. I mean, 11's netcode is, is good. The thing is, it's just kind of strange, you know. Like, I'm so used to being able to use my 1-1 one -one punishes on anything unsafe in 11. And it's just kind of... Let's play someone else. Let's play Jackie. How do you switch costumes in this game? Oh, shit. I'm pretty sure I had costumes. Whatever. Oh, he's playing Boraicho. Plus, this game has Boraicho. Eleven does not have Boraicho. Like, what the fuck? How can you even make... It has stupid... What's his name instead? Joker. Like, listen. If you could add Joker, or you could add Boraicho. I mean, it's not even a choice, is it? Yeah, I still got this. This character is... See, I like... I actually... I actually like Jackie in this version. I don't... I don't really... It's a shame, because I... I like this character. Even though she's kind of... What the hell? Okay, this guy is... guys hella random but it's all good yeah Jackie not the most interesting character in this game but look wise I mean but gameplay wise fuck what's her string doesn't matter I don't know like oh there you go okay I'm figuring this out as we go along Shit, I have no meter. That's the problem. Because <laughs> this guy is like... He has quite a play style. Come on. That's unblockable, right? Yes, that that is unblockable. Yeah. Gotta slip on the worm. Okay, let me just get a combo. And restand? Oh, I missed it. 
that's another thing as you can see I'm clearly not like readjusted to is the fact that jump kicks are not the way to go in this game like MK11 jump kicks are king in this game it's jump ins I was going to say that even though Jackie is by far the most boring looking character in this game like her gameplay is really fun in this one and I kind of I, I don't like her in I don't like her in uh 11 none of her three variations are that like interesting all right we are like banging through these games I'm just like slaughtering everyone except Kitana number one but hey we we'll chalk that up to me being not warmed up Listen, if I meet that fool again, he's gonna be out of here. With Sector, like, yeah. Unless we've run out of online opponents at this point, which this this sometimes happened with this game, even when it was super active. And sometimes you just wouldn't find anyone. And I think it was worth to, like, quit and search again. Oh, Melina is in this game. Speaking of the memes, like pretty much everybody and their mother wants Melina back and Melina fans are salty as hell that she is not in this game you know what just because of that I'm going to play Melina if I manage to get another match man I remember this is bringing back some like old ass memories of me sitting here recording episodes for this game oh shit <laughs> alright me we might have a problem here. Am I going with... Me? Hell yeah, I'm going with Melina. Piercing is the good one, right? Aaron Black. Yeah, that... Oh, we got the shitty stage. All of this, this is like bringing back flashbacks. Of me sitting there waiting for ranked matches. Of getting that shitty ass rainy stage. Luckily we didn't get it this time around. Yeah. GG's to NRS for including a pitch black stage in a generally darkly colored fighting game so if I remember correct yeah, this is all you do with her right yeah and then you wait how do you do the sigh shit okay that's the low sigh we got that Okay. There you go. Oh, and you have to you have to like mash it, right? Oh, damn. You know what? Nice. That's all you do with her, really. You throw size and then you do back one too. Damn it, teleport, bitch. I don't get it, this is what people want back. I'm only kidding, of course. Ball probably could have punished that. What else does she have with strings? It's not safe. Okay, I'm getting my ass kicked. I remember she like needs no meter either. Thing about her. Okay, that's I was just I was just about to say how you break her in this game. And shimmying is nowhere near as efficient a, a tactic as as it is in 11. Nice armor use. I mean 
clearly clearly this guy still plays okay well I got around I kinda dropped the ball there made an ass of myself still I think ending and beginning on a loss isn't too bad we've had some successes in the middle and I just reminded myself that I really didn't know how to fucking play Melina in this game, did I? But yeah, apparently that's what people want back. I'm down. Sure, why not? We can have Melina. Yeah, this was MKXL. I almost said MK11. Is there going to be more of this game? I have no idea. Maybe. I kind of I kinda am feeling this game right about now. Uh, it's fun. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Maybe I'm so bored that I'll just keep playing this game. Yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe if you're new. Do all that and stay tuned for potentially more. Peace out.